They're on the plane. All right. Well, you have to just get in your zone and just think about, I've done thousands and thousands of operations. This is another operation. But somewhere in the back of your mind is the enormity of what you're doing. Right now, if you're waiting on the, on the list for an organ, there's only a, a one-third chance that you are going to get an organ. So two-thirds of the people either die or get too sick to receive a, a transplant. Uh, those aren't very good odds. So we have done, you know, four transplants, two pig kidneys, two pig hearts, in, in people who are whole body donors, who are brain dead. And, but they were for very short periods of time, two to three days. We learned a lot from that, but we knew that really, um, in order to, 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 to really have a big impact and to get xenotransplantation closer to being a clinical reality, we needed a much longer period of observation. So we're hoping that the decedent work is going to kind of supercharge things and get us to that point where, you know, the FDA feels that we've answered these questions and, and we're ready to, you know, do the, the first living human trials. His renal function will be completely dependent on the, the xenotransplant, so there, there won't be any confusion about where the urine is coming from. Also, I think emotional, it's, we've been, we've been preparing for that day in this setting for this procedure for so long to finally be able to do that was, was just really exciting. Be able to open up the box and give the kidney to Dr. Montgomery was, was great. What kind of solution did you use? Okay, let's bring it this way. This this way here. So I can look down the barrel. Hold that chip. Sewed it in and made a hammock for the kidney exactly the way we would do for a normal human kidney transplant. We used all the same sutures. Everything was as it as it we normally do it. Pretty looking kidney. It even looks better than a human kidney, I think. I think so, too. It immediately started making urine, which is an extraordinary thing, because you're standing there, the kidney, you know, you take the clamps off and the human blood comes into the pig kidney, turns this beautiful pink color, um, and then a couple of minutes later, urine starts squirting out of the ureter. It's crazy, you know. It, I, I, I never get tired of seeing that. All right, we got urine. Oh yeah, it's pouring out. That's what Beautiful. we have for, for okay. That's what we're going to get for the bank? And, okay. then, and then this and then is the EM. So we're trying to maximize how much information we can get. Uh, it's a kidney core biopsy. It's for the Xeno research. Xeno research? We're doing all these things quite regularly to see when we see the earliest signs of change. And so far we haven't seen any changes or any increased response from, from any of these currently. Okay, so these are two fragments of biopsy tissue. Empty. There's no, uh, no inflammatory cells okay. filled inside. Okay. Looks very good, actually. Now today's 14. 14. 14. We're at two weeks wow. now. Two weeks. <laughs> wow. 
Right now our protocol is till 28, but if things are continuing to go well, uh -huh. then we may try to extend longer. Wow. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? How are we doing? Good. Everything's very smooth. Good. So, looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So we're three weeks into the one month study, um, and things have gone extraordinarily well. When we and others came up with this, you know, concept of, uh, of testing pig organs in humans that were brain dead, that was like a new frontier and a new way to get across that barrier. It's, I think it's given everybody a real renewed sense that this is going to be our reality in the future and it's going to be great.